Right, so you've looked through some businesses, a few more might have caught your eye. Well, now it's time to analyze some of these businesses. Well, in this uh, little video, I'm going to introduce you to the four steps to go through and help analyze the business. So there's four steps. Here they are here. So how do we analyze it? What are the four steps to carry out whether to, to, to determine if a business is worthwhile purchasing or not? Number one, we want to prepare a profit and loss statement or an income statement. How much profit is this thing, is this business going to make? So that's step number one. Step number two, we want to calculate the goodwill involved. Now goodwill, we'll explain that term in step two. Number three, we want to calculate the super profit that will be earned. So super profit again, I'll um, explain that term under that video. And finally, we want to calculate the goodwill ratio to determine the payback period. So these are four steps. This is just one method of analyzing whether a business is worthwhile purchasing or not. There are many other methods that you could use. So this is just one simple method, just to get, give you an idea of the processes or the things to think about if, if one of these businesses interests you. So, step one, doing a profit and loss statement. Step two, calculating goodwill. Step three, calculating super profit. And then finally, calculating the goodwill ratio to do the payback period. We'll go through each of these four steps next. Now, for extra um, walkthrough, and if you want to see the actual calculations, I have already done a video walkthrough of these four parts, because this is part of the final exam. So if you want to skip um, ahead and actually see it done on Excel, on a, on a um, on the screen with me talking in the background, um, you can go to the revision module and then find the topic called video walkthroughs and then find the one for part three, purchase of a business. So this video, it goes through a very, it goes through a worked example. It goes through the numbers, what number to pull from where, what calculation to do and how to build all the numbers. So you won't find, the, you won't find that in these little introduction videos, but I have done this uh, little walkthrough walk through. So that is the perfect place to go if you want to see how exactly to calculate um, some of the exercises to go through. Okay, so let's start on step one next. 